Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we will write a MATLAB code for the inverse power method. And in previous lecture, we have done this, this introduction and example. I will provide uh, the link in video description. You can watch. Okay. So let's start writing a MATLAB code for the inverse power method. Okay. So first commands are these are the initial commands CLC clear all close all and format short. Okay. So this is the our initial our uh, our matrix A of which we want to calculate the smallest eigenvalue using the inverse method. Okay, so this is the the initial starting vector x naught and uh, this one is the uh, in the tolerance in the solution that is t is equal to 0 0.0001. Okay, so uh, then we have a command. Uh, n a is equal to length length of the matrix a i have used this because i want to create a column vector of the same size as the matrix a have for the tolerance okay so next is initializing the number of iterations and the initial vector x of i i is equal to one when the iteration is first then we have an initial vector that is x naught we have okay so next you know, section we have the initial error assumption in our solution so this is the initial error assumption next we will start a loop section okay so uh, here we have a while loop and uh, this will be a the uh, when this condition is true then the number of iterations will be top okay so after that we have a uh, formula for the inverse power method is this one we know that x of i plus 1 which is equal to the inverse product of inverse inverse matrix with the initial vector x okay so this is the uh, uh, inverse power method formula this one okay so after this one uh, we normalize the obtained vector yes we know that how we normalize the obtained vector here this is our new vector and we will normalize this vector by uh, uh, how we normalize yes first we see the absolute maximum value in that vector okay so after uh, searching out the absolute maximum value we will divide this matrix by the uh, this column vector uh, by the absolute maximum for example lambda into uh, this will be the maximum value okay so we use first this uh, to search out which is the maximum value absolute maximum value in that vector and this we will give us the vex value maximum value and this will give us the uh, position of the value in that vector okay so after this one this is our new calculated vector x of i plus 1 and uh, uh, that and uh, the eigenvalue we have that will be the uh, uh, one divided by absolute maximum value okay so eigenvalue of the inverse matrix we know that that is the one divided by lambda yes we know that this will be equal to one divided by lambda that is the maximum value okay and into the normalized vector okay normalized vector yes okay so uh, this will be the uh, eigenvalue of the inverse matrix and uh, uh, here we, then we divide the matrix then we divide the uh, new vector x of i plus 1 divided by the absolute maximum value and this is the normalizing normalization of the obtained vector okay so after this one we want to display the uh, greatest eigenvalue of the inverse matrix that will be the smallest value of the matrix a okay so for this one i have used the display com uh, f print f command this will display the number of iteration the largest eigenvalue of the a matrix and the corresponding eigenvector okay so this will be the corresponding eigenvector x of i plus one okay so after this one uh, yes we will check the uh, error in the solution how we will check x of i plus 1 minus the previous vector okay i will use over here the 
infinity norm to calculate the error in this case okay so error is equal to norm of this one and minus this one using the infinity norm to calculate the uh, error in the solution okay so after this one uh, i want to plot the error so for plotting okay so after this one if the error is uh, not less than 0.00 r equal to 0 1 then we will uh, further go for next iteration i is equal to 1 plus i i is equal to i plus 1 means for 2 iteration for 3 for 4 for 5 so after this one i want to plot the error that is in our solution so i will use these commands to i will first create a, a vector for a vector of column vector of uh, the error in the solution then i will plot so uh, these this one to generate a vector of errors in our solution okay so after this one i uh, we i want to plot this error okay so we uh, error plotting uh, so for this one this is the plot command to plot the error and this one uh, labeling the uh, error value on the y axis and uh, the x label is number of iterations and the title of this will be the inverse power method and this is the uh, to draw for uh, arrow like that in the uh, graph and this for number of iteration for example here you can see that this is the arrow so to plot this to draw this arrow i have used the command this one okay and to show the number of iteration and this is the uh, command for number of iteration okay so this one is the position for of x axis this is the position of y axis similarly uh, in this case uh, x and y so okay so next uh, i want uh, to uh, draw the axis like this one x y x x axis and y axis so for this one axis is equal to gca and i want to off the rectangle like this one i don't want to show this one so for this one a a, a a x dot box which is off okay so this is the matlab code for inverse power method let's run this on matlab okay so this is the matlab code for inverse power method let's run this code okay so this is the graph of error in the solution you can see that as the number of iteration is increasing the error in the solution is decreasing and zero completely zero of sub after some iteration and here you can see that uh, this is the is the smallest eigenvalue for the matrix a or the largest eigenvalue of the inverse matrix and the corresponding eigenvector is this one we got this one after 144 iteration so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos related to mathematics